All right, what's going on everyone? Back here with another video. Today, we're finally gonna be unboxing the replacement for my old Dell R740. So, what is this? This is a Dell <laughs> R740. Um, I sold it last year due to it not being used. It was just better off, you know, being sold. Didn't need it, wasn't using it, so I sold it. Now, I've actually got a pretty decent use for it. So, uh, I figured why not get something nice and let's get an uh, R740 again. So, here it is. Um, now, obviously, this is overkill for a lot of home labs. You don't need this at all. I don't really need this, but it was on sale. So, I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's get something decent. So, I'll go over some quick specs. This is pretty much a base model. I do have plans to upgrade it later on down the line. Uh, single CPU configuration. Only 8 gigs of RAM. So, I mean, like I said, this is pretty much as basic as it gets. Um, this machine, I think, if I was to buy it retail, would cost like $3,000. But I pay nowhere near that, of course. Um, I think you can pick these machines up around the fifteen, sixteen hundred dollar mark. So, that's pretty much what these are worth. I mean, these aren't really worth $2,000, $3,000 in my personal opinion. But, uh, enough talking. Let's go ahead and open up the box. So, um, like I said, some specs. It's a single CPU machine. Um, it's a Xeon 4210R, 10 core, 20 threads at 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, only 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, RAM is super expensive right now, both on Dell's website and on the second hand market. So, I'm gonna hold off on the RAM upgrade for right now. I do have plans to do a 64 gig kit and then I'll do this, the second CPU upgrade whenever I get a chance now. But we'll see, we'll see. So, let's go ahead and upgrade. All right. Got power cable, manuals, and that's it. I ordered this as bare bones as you can get it. Uh, it was relatively inexpensive. I didn't get any rails or anything like that. So I didn't even get a bezel with this machine, to be honest with you. So I'll go ahead and move this off to the side and get to the main attraction here. So, Getting this out is so let's see. Now what? Okay, oh jeez, that was the service tag. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Here she is. Put this off to the side and close this up so I can show you guys a little bit of what we've got going on here. So This is a Dell R740. As you guys can see, or not. Um, this is the 16 bay this time around. Uh, I did want to get the XD, but I didn't need all 24 drive bays, so I didn't. Let's see here. If I can open this up, I think I'll find a screwdriver that's suitable. All right, let's open this thing up and uh, see what we're working with here. Okay, now take this off the tripod so you guys can get a little bit better of a look what we got going on here. So, uh, your standard R740 stuff right here. Let's see if I can open this up. Yep, and as you can see, single 8 gig BIM processor underneath there, and our blank socket with cover, as well as, as, well as a blank for are two fans that are required for the second CPU. So, but yeah, there's the RAID controller. I think it's a HBA 330 on this one. I have to double check, but uh, yeah, like I said, this is pretty base config. Uh, I didn't really want to spend a ton of money on this, but I did want the R740. The R750s are out, so you can get a pretty decent sized discount on these machines. Like I said, this machine I think was only like $1,500, so pretty cheap um, with the upgrades. Uh, so with the Xeon 4210R and the 16 bays, 
It did come with a SSD, I believe. Yeah, it's like a 400 gig SSD or something like that. Yeah, 400 gig SSD, so. Uh, yeah, pretty decent. Uh, I do have some drive trays coming for these. Uh, actually, I already have them. Uh, I'm waiting on the bezel. I did forget to order the bezel with this machine, as well as the rails, unfortunately. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be just sliding it in the rack for now on the the uh, the rack. Not rails, but, I mean, they're like pseudo rails. So, I'm going to be sliding it in there until I can get the actual rails, which should be here probably in a couple of weeks. But, yeah. Here is the new server. This will be running ESXi. Um for right now. I don't think this is going to get anything else other than ESXi. The R720 XT which is going to have a couple of iSCSI ones pointed to this R740. This is going to have almost all SSD storage. I do have enterprise SSDs for this machine. I have six so far. I'm going to be getting I think I don't know maybe like three or four more. So these should be filled with SSDs pretty much. Um, the iSCSI ones will just be slow even though they're all 10k SAS uh, hard drives, but a slower bulk storage for the VMs. But yeah, I do have plans to get the second CPU and uh, probably like 64 gigs like I did the other one. And yeah, I don't have any plans to do that uh, right now, of course, but only thing I have really planned to do is get the uh, PCI cards in here. I've got two 10 gig PCI cards I gotta put in. Um, well, actually three. I've got two 10 gig and a uh, quad port RJ45 Nick. I'm gonna go ahead and put in here. So uh, I actually go ahead and do that now. All right, so yeah, like I said, just a couple of network card upgrades. We've got the um, Intel X520 DIA2. Show you guys that. Make sure you guys can see that. And the frame, there we go. Yeah, X520 DIA2. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here real quick. Actually, I'm gonna put it on the second one. So I'm gonna put this right here. All right, so we've got it in the rack. Also got my uh, caddies in. This one's kind of messed up, but whatever. Um, we've got blue, so that's a good sign. Uh, sorry about this, by the way. We're still waiting on my new 10 gig switch, my ubiquity switch to come in. But let's go ahead and fire it up. We've got it hooked up to the uh, keyboard as well as power. Uh, so where's the power button? Over here. Over here. Let's see what we got. All right. Pull this out a little bit so you can see. Bring this over here. Let's go to the BIOS. I think it's F2. And iDRAC got an IP address. And I do have iDRAC 9. I just have to uh, get my license key off of my email. So it's gonna try to build the network. But um, let me go ahead and bring up iDirect so I can show you guys the actual specs. So be right back. All right, so we've got uh, iDirect all 
set up here. Let's see. Let me show you guys the CPU. See, I'm 4210R, 2.4 gigahertz. Um, did get it with the Enterprise iJack this time. Let's see here. Let me start the virtual console up. Oh, you got a pop up spot. Let me see here. And then I got my ESXi ISO all ready to go. Close that. You should be able to power this thing on. So let's power that up. Excuse the dirty display, guys. So yeah, here we go. And there's ESXi. So we're going to go ahead and boot into that and uh, install it. 